So we've been seeing some early unofficial Lineage OS 18.1 builds on XDA as of late. But earlier this week, the team behind the popular custom ROM officially announced the new update. And no, that is not an April Fool's joke. Over 60 devices are said to be supported in this first round of Lineage OS 18.1. And today I'm going to show you how to update from an official 17.1 device up to Lineage OS 18.1. I'm going to be using the Essential Phone as my example in this video. However, this update process should be the same across all of these first batch of devices. I can't guarantee that this will work whenever you update from an unofficial build of 17.1 to a unofficial build of 18.1. You'll have to ask the developer in the XDA thread for your device. So to begin this process, you're going to need to download a couple of things ahead of time. You're going to need to download the new Lineage OS 18.1 build for your device. You can just go in Google and search for Lineage OS download should pull up the downloads page and whenever we look in the sidebar you can just go to your device we're gonna download the ROM as well as the recovery image and I'll be linking to this website in the video description down below as well as other download links and tutorials that I mention in this video so another thing that you also need to have installed is ADB and Fastboot tools. So again, I'm going to be having a download or a tutorial link for installing ADB and Fastboot tools in the video description, just in case you're not aware of how to do that. And if you want to install Google Apps, you're going to need to download a G Apps package. However, as of right now, recording this video, OpenG Apps does not have an Android 11 package for the community. So we're going to be using the Mind the G Apps alternative. So with all of that done, we're going to go into the Settings application. And we're going to be enabling USB debugging mode. So if you haven't done so already, Go ahead and enable, and, and enable developer mode so that we can go into the developer options page. And enable USB debugging. So with the USB debugging option enabled or Android debugging, however it's labeled, we can then connect our phone to our PC with a USB cable as you can see here and then go ahead and run the ADB service now the instructions on the Lineage OS website say that we also need to enable we need to select something called root access options and then enable ADB only for root I was unable to find that on this device the wiki may be a bit outdated there is a rooted debugging option, which seemed similar, but I'm not exactly sure why they're asking us to enable root. Um, the next instructions tell us to run a command, uh, adb space reboot space sideload. And when we type that out, as long as adb or USB debugging is enabled and we have allowed access from the device when we press enter it's going to restart the phone at least it's restarting my phone even without root access 
so that we can begin the side load process. So I'm, I don't think the whole um, root access options and ADB only options in the instructions are required. If you're able to boot into recovery mode and then enable ADB sideload mode. So it doesn't matter how you get into ADB sideload mode in your custom recovery. We just need to have either TWRP or Lineage OS recovery installed on our device, booted into recovery mode, and then enabling ADB sideload mode. Once we have our smartphone in our custom recovery and in sideload mode, we can connect our smartphone to our PC with the USB cable if you haven't done so already. So you can see here, this is my ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. And in this folder, I have moved or copied and pasted the Lineage OS zip file that contains the 18.1 custom ROM update that we downloaded earlier. This file needs to be in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot Tools so that whenever we open up a command prompt terminal or PowerShell within that same folder, we're going to type out the command ADB space sideload space and whatever the file name is for that download. You can rename this file to lineageos.zip if you wanted to, just so that it's easier to type out. I use the tab button for autocomplete, so that makes it a lot easier to type out these bigger file names. So again, make sure your phone is in recovery mode. Make sure it is in sideload mode, waiting to accept that command. And once we type it out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. And it's going to send this update from our PC to the Essential Phone before it begins updating from Lineage OS 17.1 to Lineage OS 18.1. Now on our phone, we're being told that the device is finding that update package. It is up or is opening that update package. And right now it is verifying that update package. Once you see this screen right here get to 47%, you should see the phone update as well and switch from verifying the update package to installing the update. This is going to stay at 47% for a minute. Our phone is currently displaying that we're at step one of two. And we're simply just waiting for the phone to install the big update that we just sent to it. After it completes step one of two, we can see it instantly going to step two of two. Again, we're just going to be patient. Now we are going to see a ADB failed to read command on our command prompt on the PC. That's fine. We're getting a status zero message on the phone. As long as we don't get any error messages on the phone here, we should be good to go. Now, if you are installing a Google Apps package, we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did. 
we're going to copy and paste that zip file into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. We're going to go into the apply update so that we can apply an update from ADB. And then we're going to do the ADB sideload command just like we did for the actual custom ROM update, but we're going to do it for the Google Apps package. And after that, if you want to install Majisk, we're going to do the same with that. We're going to copy the Majisk zip to the ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. We're going to go into the Apply Update section, enable the ADB sideload mode, and we're going to do ADB sideload and then the Majisk zip file. Now if you have TWRP installed, you can flash those zip files like you normally would after you have done the ADB sideload. We're not going to be doing that here. We're just updating Lineage OS from 17.1 to 18.1. So after we have ADB sideloaded the 18.1 update, and once we are finished sideloading any other updates, we're going to go back to our main screen here. We're going to make sure the Reboot System Now option is highlighted, and we're going to press the Power button to select that option. And this first boot into Android may take a little bit longer than normal as the operating system needs to set some things up. But we have not done a factory data reset. We have not erased anything. We are keeping all of our personal data. We are just updating from Lineage OS 17.1 to Lineage OS 18.1. You can already see that we are on Android 11 from there, but we can also go into the About Phone section. We're at Android 11 based on Lineage OS 18.1 on the March security update with a build date of April 1st. So that is how to update Lineage OS 17.1 to the official 18.1